it's been a year since i have made this series and i have noted few pointers regarding this series now i am adding few features to this project the first one is checkout form was missing and I haven't added it intentionally that time. I have added checkout functionality without a form. So I'm adding it now. And I will add few more features in the next video. So let's get started. First of all, we need to do some changes in our order table. So open the order class and we will add few properties here. So we will add name with some data annotations like required and max length 30 now another one is email max length 30 required and email address will be its data annotations next one is mobile number which have just a required property another one is address with required and max length 200 properties for validation and the last one is payment method of a string type and it will also be a required property and we are also going to put some restrictions on the length of payment method so its max length will be 30 now open the package manager console type add migration make to press enter it will create a migration file now type update database and now these changes are persisted to the database now go to the constants folder add new file with name payment method.cs remove these lines and keep the namespace only now we will create enum with the name payment methods it will have two items cod and online set cod equals to one by default its value is zero so we are going to set it to one now create a new class inside DTO folder and name it checkout model and it will have these properties name, email, mobile number, address, payment method. Now open the iCart repository and add this parameter to do checkout method. Now open the cart repository, find the do checkout method and we also need to add this parameter to do checkout method here also we also need a column for payment status i forgot to add it add is paid property here which is a boolean type now run the migration command add migration make three is just a name make three you can you can try any name so press enter and i'm getting error here so let's try to find the error so we need to build this project for that Okay, so click on the error detail. Uh, now, let's comment these lines for now. Let's run this command again. Okay, it's successful now. Now, run update database command. And we are all set now. Till now, the value of order status is static. It can be inconsistent in the future. First, we will fetch order status record from the database where status name is pending. If this record is null, we will throw this custom exception. Now we can set order status ID equals to pending record dot ID. Here set name, email, mobile number, payment method, and also set is paid equals to false. Now open the card controller copy this method name and paste it here it will return a view and it will be our get method to make below method post we need to add parameters to it and set verb to http post so it is our post method now let's remove async from this get method it will be a simple get method without any async await now we need two more methods first one is order success another one is order failure now let's create a view of order success and update this heading. Let's also create the view of order failure and update this heading too. Let's update the checkout post method and comment these lines which we have commented earlier. First of all, we need to pass 
this model to checkout method and now check if model is valid or not if it is not valid return model to a view remove this through exception line now if is checkout is false we will return the order failure view otherwise we will return to the order success view now we need to create the checkout ui so create the checkout view now right here add the red model checkout model and let's change this h1 to h2 now we will work on the ui part so create a form here asp action will be checkout on form submit checkout post method will be called we'll create few fields here first one is name and it will also have a validation message next one is email another one is mobile number next one is address and it will be text area with 10 rows next one is cod and it will be drop down so add select input here we will render options from payment method enum which we have created earlier now add a submit button here and we are done so i will put the asterisk mark here we are going to change this label name to address and i forgot to set address here so set it now otherwise you will get an error now run the project and i'm logged in with john's account so i have added few products to the cart and now go to the cart click on the checkout button okay so fill the form i have filled all the form except payment method so that i can check the validation and now press the submit button and you will get the validation error so you need to select payment method so select any payment method now i am selecting cod and submit the form and we are redirected to the order success page it means our order is successful and you can go here and check your order if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button make sure to subscribe this channel to get more videos like this see you next time